can review correspondent Mickey Mouse here, and I'm interviewing Ivan Petrified. That's Petrovich, little mouse. I have trouble once before on talk show host with little high school chicky boy. He called me petrified. Now you are little mouse. You can't get away with it. Ah, oh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Petrovich. Uh, uh, oh, anyway, we're here to interview Mr. Ivan uh, Petrovich about the new Disneyland that's going to be opening in Siberia. Now tell me, Mr. Petrovich, uh, uh, why is it going to be a Disneyland in Siberia? Why? What do you mean, why? Siberia is great tourist attraction already. Snow to make your toes numb, and walruses, big polar bears, and all that fun stuff. Who wouldn't want to go there and starve and lose a toe or two? Now, wait a minute. I just don't believe that it's economically feasible that people are going to go from the United States to Siberia to do all this suffering. Well, Mr. Mouse, I agree with you in principle, but Russian people are very, uh, how you say, unusual. Maybe you would call them strange. They like to suffer. As I said on the Hamburg special of a few years ago with that now defunct co-host, uh, Jonathan Krell, he didn't believe it either. But the Russian people are depressing people. Disneyland will be a success in Siberia for the simple fact that the contrast will do them some good. Well, uh, I'm really sorry we've had this real horrible time together, uh, Mr. Petrovich. I think it's time to make you disappear. How you do that? Well, you see, I am really the great Mickey, and I'm also a magician. And I think it's time for you to go because this interview is ridiculous. Just simply ridiculous. It's time for you to fade away starting right now. Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 don't make me go away.